Hey everybody. It's Saturday night and I'm going to be turning the lights out here in a little while but I thought I'd come down and have a little hangout and check out the tanks and see what was going on and it occurred to me that we've got a crayfish sitting out in the open more or less I mean he's kind of hidden under these branches a little bit but he's still uh, out in the open by the standards of what this tank has looked like over the last several months with that Mayan cichlid that was in here he just destroyed these crayfish and they just you know they, they resorted to staying in caves all the time and now that that Mayan cichlid is out of here I'm hoping we can get to see them a little more I was going to go down and do a little cray fishing today but I didn't really feel up for it I had other stuff to do it was really breezy and chilly out and I just kinda never got around to it here's my big old Chinese algae eater still in here doing well and so that video never got shot, but I was planning on uh, taking a walk down the street and going down to the stream, or actually I was going to take a drive down the street, and then I was going to walk in the stream a little bit, take the dip net, see if we couldn't catch any interesting minnows. If you look, um, my school of minnows now is down to just a few creek chubs, and it's kind of nice having them in there. I think what I'm going to do is go to the bait shop that I went to last year. Uh, if you followed along with this tank since the beginning, you'll remember this, but if you're fairly new to the channel, last year I got this tank set up for, um, I bought the tank on Black Friday, the end of November, and by the time it was cycled and everything, we were well into December, so I couldn't even catch any uh, local fish like that sunfish right there, that's a uh, green sunfish, uh, we'll get very big and aggressive at some point, but we'll see how long it stays in here. I just threw some shrimp pellets in the tank a little while ago hoping to get the crayfish out and active and you can see what I mean by that algae eater needing the protein in his diet. It doesn't act this way when I put algae wafers in the tank. I mean it's coming out and actively searching for those shrimp pellets that I threw in the tank so you know it needs plenty of uh, protein for it to be acting like that. But at any rate, uh, last autumn when I got this tank set up I wasn't really able to do a whole lot with going out and getting it stocked up with any native fish so what I wound up doing was going down to a bait and tackle shop that's not too far from my good fish store it's about an hour drive from here maybe 45 minutes and they sell jumbo shiners for 75 cents each and I wound up getting a school of 18 of them and several died over the first few weeks but I wound up with a school of 12 and I eventually identified them, or I should say one of my viewers identified them, as a golden shiner. Now, I don't know if I go back to this bait and tackle shop, will they have more of those? Or do they just get random fish in? Because there's a lot of different fish out there that go by shiner. So, I don't really know what would happen if I go down there. But the next time I'm in the area, I'm going to make sure I've got a bucket and my air stone with me. And I'm going to pop in and they can always catch one and show it to me and I can see what they've got and if it looks like something that would be interesting in here uh, I might just buy myself a dozen shiners and we might have some more of an interesting uh, grouping or schooling fish in the tank and I enjoyed it like that last year I enjoyed having that big school of those golden shiners in there they were beautiful it was a fun tank it was interesting there was always activity and movement so I think we're going to go back in that direction. I still might like to try to get some white perch in here or some lesser aggressive perch, a smaller one maybe. And I don't think I'll have too much to worry about. Um, so, you know, as I've been saying since day one, this tank is always going to sort of be a work in progress. Eventually it will settle into some sort of permanent type community. And I'm getting closer to it. I've sort of decided, you know, I've done my experimenting. I've had the aggressive fish. I've had the bigger fish in here. And it's just not my thing. I'm not really interested in having a bass in here uh, or anything like that. I don't really want a big sunfish unless it's one of the more docile sunfish that just kind of hangs out uh, and doesn't really do much. But that little sunfish we were just looking at, he's all the way down the other end of the tank. I'm sitting down right now. That's why I'm not really looking at the whole tank. Uh, my back's been bothering me again today, so you're going to get a sitting down video. But the long and short of it is we've still got some rearranging to do before we sort of settle in on any kind of permanent tank. 
So hopefully tomorrow will be a nice enough day that I'll be getting down the street and I'm probably not going to catch too many minnows, but I do want to try to catch some crayfish or we may just go throw the crayfish slash minnow trap out. I think technically it's a minnow trap, but I catch plenty of crayfish in it too. Um, so we might just go throw that out and then that means Monday afternoon I can go down there and collect it up and see what we've got or something like that. So there will be some changes happening to this tank. I just wasn't in any huge hurry to rush into it after getting that Mayan cichlid out of here. But now that it's gone, um, I've been giving this tank some more thought. So we're definitely going to be moving in some direction here pretty soon. So make sure you're subscribed on that note, and that way you won't miss any of the changes I've got coming up. I'm sorry this crayfish didn't do anything. Uh, I even threw food in there in hopes that it would smell it and start moving around or crawling around. There's another one right sort of over there. It's kind of where these logs go underneath that rock, and I've been seeing his little antennae stick out, and then they stick back in, and so I don't know what, what's going on, why these crayfish are so skittish. Uh, I guess if you've lived in the tank with that Mayan cichlid for as long as they have, you'd be skittish too. Uh, it's only been a couple days since they've been out of the tank. And by the way, if you missed my video, he did make it safely to my buddy's uh, place. He's got him in his tank. He's already shot a video. I'll attach a card right here so you can actually look at the uh, welcome to his new home video uh, at my friend's channel. And you can make sure you're subscribed to his channel while you're there and you'll get plenty of updates on the Mayan cichlid and all his other, he's got turtles and snakes and all kinds of cool stuff. So you want to make sure you subscribe uh, while you're over there. On that note, I will ask you once again, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss anything I've got coming up either. Thanks for watching this one. Don't forget this one's my native tank. I got plenty of others, but this one is my native tank. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you real soon on the next one.